Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Army Girl Budget. In today's video, we will be going over our paycheck two of the month of August. So if that's something you guys are interested in, stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's get into this. I've been a little gone out of the way um, for this month because things have been nuts. Um, so I was going to record my first paycheck for August and to be honest with you, everything was going haywire and I had to just go through the budget. Honestly, it was like, let's just get through it and see what happens um, um, because things was going crazy. So for those of you that don't know, uh, my official last day in the Army was July 23rd. Well, 22nd. Um, so I was briefed numerous times that our last pay period, my last pay period would be five, da five days after my last day in the army, which would have been last week for me. Um, but that didn't happen. So um, we've been just trying to make do and make things work. We had prepared and even though I thought we were really prepared, we weren't as prepared as I wanted to be, mainly because of my kids and the stuff that they have going on. So yeah, so that budget was, it's a mess. I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> so y'all can see that it's a mess. Look at it. I didn't roll all over it. It's, it's a mess because we had stuff to do. Um, our, my kids started school already. Sorry, let me stuff this back in here. But my kids start school already. Um, we live in Texas. They start school kind of early. And, um, oh, disclaimer, my puppies are in here. And if you hear j bells jiggling, growling, fighting, it's them. And I might have to take a stop to make my boy puppy chill because he doesn't have any. But back to what I was saying. So they started school. Um, both of them play sports, as you guys already know. Um, at their school, they are required to have, like, well, not required. I don't want to say required. There's some things that they are required to have. And then there's some things that it is better to have, especially if you're a mom of two kids that play in the sport, you want to make sure that you have extra. So they have to wear um, specific like uniforms for athletics and then um, practice typically. So they give them one and then it would behoove you to order additional. And so I didn't account for that. I didn't account for their game day meals. My son lost his mouth, uh, his mouth guard and the case for it. They both need new water bottles. It's just a whole lot, a whole lot. Of. So um, I didn't account for all of that. And, and so what I'm doing now is, and what I had to do was account for that in our budget our first month, first of August budget. And then some of it will be coming into the second part of August's budget as well. Okay, so let's get the first thing out of the way. So income should be about 4,200. And that's me and my husband both combines pay. Um, and then we have another income coming in of probably about $2,200. That will give us $6,400 to budget for. Um, and then we have my card note, which is three fifty. I cannot wait till I'm done paying for this thing. Um, YouTube TV, that's our form of cable. That's eighty nine dollars now. Um, our credit card is one hundred and fifty dollars. Ashley card, that is seventy five dollars. And I am still going back and forth on whether or not I'm going to play my Ashley and my rooms to go card off because there's zero percent interest rate on it for I think it's five years so I have another four years to pay it off I think that what I'm going to do is just pay more on it and just not worry about like paying it off in full as of yet but you know things change um $37 for my jewelry insurance so okay fun fact you guys hadn't seen my wedding ring in a while because my hands started swelling up at pretty much after I had surgery my hands my feet my legs everything swells up real bad and I couldn't put my ring on. And then a couple of my diamonds fell out. We have jewelry insurance. Um, I used it, but my dad, he was like, Erica, you need to go take your ring to get appraised. So ladies, 
and gentlemen, if you guys have gold and diamonds, you guys need to go take your stuff to get it appraised. It's a couple hundred dollars. Sounds crazy. But my husband, what my ring appraised for and what we pay for it, it's like triple. Almost quadruple what we pay for the ring and what it's worth now. Um, the market for diamonds and gold, um, the price value of them have increased so much now. So, yeah, I learned that and that um, you need to have it because in case something does happen to your ring and you have insurance on it, they will pay you the appraised value if you had it appraised versus what you paid value for it. Never knew that, y'all. I learned something new a few weeks ago. So I got it re, um, my stones put back in and I had, had to get it sized up like an entire size because my hands get so big now. Um, so I put on here our light bill, which is typically around 140, uh, USAA is the credit card we use to pay for tolls and then life insurance, um, $24 44 cents. Amazon is going to get $10. Apple Card will get $375. Um, and then my mortgage is $1505. Now, what's funny is I a lot of stuff was going on. A lot of things was hectic. But y'all, I went to go see Beyonce. My best friend and I, I flew to New York. Um, my best friend bought the tickets. I just had to get there. And I went to see Beyonce for the first time. And what's funny is every time I try to go see her when I was in the army, something would happen and I would get deployed somewhere or have a training mission somewhere and I couldn't leave and or I couldn't get off work or something. And then this time I was able to go. And let me tell you, it was a whole experience. Like that lady, she sang and danced for four hours straight and didn't miss a note. I don't, I want y'all to understand that she had a live band there and she was singing her whole entire face off for hours. And she was just, it was just, it was so good. And I, and I didn't take a lot of videos and a lot of clips of it because I just wanted to get the experience. I know my best friend, she had been to all of her concerts. So she was literally in her phone the whole time like watching it through her phone. But me, I wanted to see it all. I wanted to feel the vibe, the energy, everything, because I hadn't gone before. And it was just, it was just so good. It was so good. Uh, the people there was crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Beyonce's fans are crazy, but it was so much fun. All right, guys, for gas, we're gonna put $500. For grocery, we're gonna put five hundred dollars. Honestly, we are. We went to the grocery store this week and we spent over five hundred dollars on groceries. And the lady was like, "Do you guys have a big family?" I said, "No, I have two teenagers." <laughs> and she was like, "Oh," I said, "And they play sports." She was like, "Oh yeah, I'm so sorry." Um, put one hundred and fifty dollars for beauty, and then we're gonna put four hundred dollars here for other stuff. And this other is, I don't even know. It's a, I think I'm going to try to do sinking funds there, but honestly, we have to see. We're going to have to see what happens with all of this stuff that I need to purchase for the kids' school because those game day meals are $130, $140 a piece, and then I'm going to be spending another 100 and something dollars on my son's um, additional clothes because I've already bought my daughter. So... Also, what I do, I know you guys see these sticky notes over to the side. I usually write down anything that I need to do and try to per, uh, get it knocked off. Like This is not something that I would normally buy, buy in my budget. However, this is something that needs to come in my budget this month. And it wouldn't be such a big deal. But the way they do it, they have a school store that's only open for like four days. So like I did my son's already, but my daughter's isn't open yet because tryouts hasn't finished. So as soon as tryouts is over on Friday, I then have until Monday to purchase her game day meals. Um, I did get her ad additional gym clothes, but my son's isn't open yet and I need to buy his game day meals now, but I'm trying to decide if I'm going to because he has food allergies. So I don't know if I'm going to buy him game day meals or am I going to be 
making him game day meals and bringing it to him. We haven't figured that part out yet. Um, we do know that he will have access to a, a microwave or whatever, but yeah. And it's it's wild. It's like they're at school from uh, 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning all the way until not during the week when they don't have a game if they have a game they're there until like eight or nine o'clock so of course they have to have game day meals and snacks and all this other stuff but yeah teenagers man once you nobody prepares you you're not prepared when you think you're prepared you're not prepared so i'm going to be heavily stuffing my cash envelopes and stuff like that coming up here shortly because with everything that's going on school starting their school list that we got from the t the school wasn't enough the t their teachers asked for additional things um my son growing like a weed and needing a whole new wardrobe that we haven't had the opportunity to really get him everything less um he's in that in between size where he is over a boy's extra large but not quite a men's small so it's hard finding extra smalls in men's um, in public. Like, I, I don't know, like online and right now because school is getting ready to start, it's just hard to find stuff. So we bought him a few things, but not a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, so I emptied out my, I literally emptied out all my cash envelopes and my savings challenges because of him. Hold on, I'm sorry, y'all. Hey, hey, come on guys, be nice, okay? Ziggy man, be nice. Zina, go, go get in your bed, mama. Go. Go get in your bed. Everybody lay down. Thank you. Okay, guys, sorry. All right, so let's just, I'm going to add these up real quick, and then we'll keep talking if I have more to say. All right. So that gives me $4,055.44. And we're going to subtract that from the $6,400. That gives me $2,344.56. And we're going to take $1,000 from that. This gave me $1,344.56. And then this should equal a thousand. Yep. That gives me $344.56 which is enough for me and my husband to have some cash in our pockets and we're still gonna be paying to get into their sporting events and all that good stuff and we me and my husband go out every friday or saturday one of the two and just kind of chill together decompress from the week or whatever but so i usually do this i put the sticky notes on my budget um, it's also like this in my calendar, my weekly, daily calendar that I use at, for everything. And then when I get something done, I just cross it off or whatever. But for right now, we're caught up on everything that needs to be done. We just have until the end of this week to start doing and knocking off the rest of this stuff. And that just threw off my intentions was to start heavily stuck in, stuffing my sinking funds or whatever but because this stuff came up and i used my sinking funds and stuff like that for um buying my son some school clothes and paying for some of the other things for my daughter's sporting things ahead what was it my it was my daughter paying for some of her stuff ahead of ahead of time um we just can't do that right now so this is my budget for the next pay period. Hopefully, hopefully guys, my final paycheck from the military will be here because honestly, 
when I called them, they said that it'll take like 20 days and 20 days for me is about next this coming up Friday. So hopefully that happens because then this budget is going to be null and void and I'm going to have to do another one and I'll just record another video with that budget because it's going to look a lot different. So anyways, guys, sorry I haven't been posting. It honestly was because I went to New York. Um, I traveled to New York. My kids had, um, my daughter had tryouts, club tryouts. My son had football going on. My daughter had tournaments and everything. And then I was just very like, I'm not going to say annoyed or depressed, but stressed about money. And I haven't been stressed about money in a long time. And I really just didn't know how to like undo the chaos of everything that was going on. Um, so now that everything is settled and I feel better about what we have going on and I've made move some things left and right and stuff like that to kind of make everything work for us in a way that doesn't feel like we don't have no money. Um, that's one thing that stresses me out is when I feel like my kid says, Hey mom, can we go get, uh, I need to go get such and such or mom, can I go to Starbucks real quick? I really don't like saying no to them. And that might be a bad thing, but I don't like saying no to them because they don't ask for stuff much. They're very busy kids. And nine times out of 10, they're like, content with whatever they have already so if my kid is like mom my friends are going to play volleyball can I go I don't like to feel like I ain't got the ten dollars to hand her to go you know what I mean or she wants to go to Starbucks with her friends but I don't have the cash to give it to her I don't like that so and I honestly don't want to get use my credit cards to get into any additional debt until I mean listen I'm not getting into any additional debt is what I'm saying I do use my credit cards, but I pay them off. But I'm just saying, I don't want to just swipe my credit card because it's available and not have the cash to cover. I don't want to do that. So um, that's why I was kind of like MIA a little bit. It's been about three weeks since I posted anything, but we are getting it together. We are going to be fine. Um, yeah, everything's going to be good. So I'm going to be... Um, probably posting another video here but i just need it won't be right now it'll it'll probably be <laughs> though in at the weekend or early next week i'll have another video it's all going to depend on whether or not they finally pay me my last paychecks because they're ruining my august mood i was super hype about august starting before this because i knew that i was going to be paying off my debt and all of that stuff was supposed to happen in like august i assumed Shouldn't have done that. That would have happened early in August, but it didn't. So now I'm just like, ugh, August. So there's that. But anyways, that's all I got. This is our budget. Um, Bear with me, y'all. I should have another video up this week. If not this week, then early next week. And hopefully that video is going over this budget. And if it's not going over this budget, it's showing y'all the new budget and what we did. And hopefully it cashed up in. We'll see though. All right, guys. Till next time. Bye.